So, good morning. Welcome back to another Sunday, another adventure ride. We're off to Milton Abbas this morning. There's four of us. There's me, Del, Alex and Ian. So the sun is out. It's lovely and warm. It's going to be a great day. And we're all smiling. Right, so don't ask me where we are because I've got that lovely feeling now of being lost. I don't know, just following the line on the map. I've sort of lost all sense of direction. Uh, we're somewhere near Wincanton. Hopefully we should be heading towards Charlton Hawthorne if, I'm, if I can remember correctly from the, uh, from the route. Got some lovely new roads which can only mean more tiles. So all good. Ian, why are you riding my bike? No, it's just an adult side. <laughs> <laughs> the track to Marnie is now a team issue. We're currently at 47 kilometers. We've got about 13 kilometers to the cafe. And that big hill we can see in the distance, I reckon, is Woodland Hill. So we're not far from the climb. Probably about. Uh, Eight and nine k or so. Are you looking forward to this hill, Dell? Yeah. I, I can't see it in the distance. You not see that big hill in the distance? Where? It's over there. No, the climb is the climb is before the cafe. All oh, right. Okay. Was that you, Alex? Yeah. <laughs> That's a funny two. Wow. Trying to get rid of your tattoo. <laughs> Oh, that's, nice. that's a good one. On the sock as well. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not something you see every day. All right, so onwards to the climb. It can't be far away because I've just seen it in the distance. It looks a bit of a monster. So, <laughs> how did Ben Miller go out there in five minutes, 33 seconds? Well done, Ben, yesterday for winning that hill climb. Right, so we're approaching the bottom of the climb now. And with it being an official climb, that definitely means we've got to do an effort. So uh, let's see how we do. I think Pete's got a time of 8.44 up here. He's the only one from the club who I've seen that's done it. So that's my target. Try and beat Pete. So we're going up there. It looks a bit of a wall from here. Really high. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Maybe you should go ahead while we wait. Yeah, well, these official climbs aren't official climbs for a reason. <laughs> With your new bike, Ian, how many bikes has that you got now? Well, I've got 11 I could ride. And then I've got how many? One, two, I've got about another four or five frames. How do you pick which bike to use in the morning? I'm picking <laughs> which socks to wear then. <laughs> got the, ah, I've got the old winter bike, I've got 12, I right. got that one. Then I've got uh, my kind of nicest British summer bike, I've got my best bike, which I tend to only ride abroad. Um, I've got my other bike, which used to be my favourite bike, I don't know when I ride that, just whenever. I've got my old winter bike, I've got my commuter bike, I've got a couple of mountain bikes, but I've got the old mountain bike, which I don't really use for anything at the moment. Have they got names? But, have you got a tandem? No. So I've got one up on you then. I tell you what, Mrs. I once <laughs> spoke about tandems and she just, she knows how fast I can go and she was <laughs> you, you can borrow mine to try and persuade yeah, her. There you go. There you go. Right. right, you ladies ready for this hill? Yeah. It's downhill Absolutely. all the way. Yeah, you, you... Are you ready to wait? Wait? After I, the hill. I'm ready for you to wait for me. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> go on, let's do it. Wow, what a stunning climb that was. That was beautiful. Very steep though, and that was really tough towards the top. It went off too, uh, too fast down the bottom. How did you find it, Del? I'm glad I got up. It was lovely, actually. Challenge. Look at the views, yeah. <laughs> How do you find it, Ian? Yes, that was nice. 
yes, I like that. Yeah, it's a really I good. I kind of did this before on Park the Wessex. Yeah, I think Tory Wessex comes over there and goes yeah. down that way. Yeah. yeah. But Alex liked it so much, she's going to do it again. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it was, she obviously thought it was too hard and then found really oh, easy. You're definitely faster the second time. <laughs> How do you like that one? Uh, <laughs> like Dumbo the elephant. <laughs> So, yeah, so we haven't actually got to do the eight percent climb up, so there's a bonus deal. And you get and you get to have a cup of coffee. <laughs> So Del, this is Milton Abbas, if you haven't already figured it out. What do you think? Beautiful. Ignore the scaffolding, we've, we've yeah, come at the wrong true. time. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, it's really unusual, really charming. All replica houses all the way up, look, thatched cottages. I don't know how much they cost to buy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is it just warmer over there, Alex? <laughs> Alex, are you going to go down the bottom and then have an effort up through the village? Oh, God. <laughs> we, could go, we could, like, support you. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're stand here and watch. Because I'm not doing I it. I just wanted to get a picture. <laughs> I really want to do this. Yeah, what, what was that then? <laughs> Did you say you didn't pay? <laughs> You've stolen your coffee and cake. <laughs> Dell. <laughs> You're giving the Welsh the bad name. Yeah, they got your name and address. Right, so if you see a, a Welsh woman in Mendip kit come into your cafe, don't serve her until she's paid. <laughs> Right, so that big building behind me is Milton Abbey. Uh, we're not letting Dell in there in case she steals the building as well. <laughs> but uh, we're on our way back now. Milton Abbey's done, Woodland Hill done. Although we've done 840, me 840 meters of climbing. Uh, we're only supposed to have done 1100 today, so should be fairly flat on the way back, but I can't believe it. Because there's big hills right in front of us. I must say I'm uh, really, really pleased with the route today. Some of these roads are perfect for cycling. There's been some uh, great views once we got to the top of uh, Willand Hill, but these are just such quiet lanes. There's no cars, they're fast and flowing. Just, just really, really pleased with today's route. Hope they are, because I'm loving it. Guilty. You're yeah. Feeling guilty? I think it's the weight of the guilt. Yeah. Is it? No, so you so, yeah, sure. so you've nearly killed Alex. Yeah. You've stolen. <laughs> How many more of the Ten Commandments are you going to break this morning? Oh, me as well. You're craving ice cream, Alex. Yeah. Any particular flavour? Oh, anything. Just anything to get rid of that coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, some coffee ice cream? No. No. Vanilla. Oh no, black currant. Black currant. Break away, forget your sober case. Stop dwelling on empty words. Stop stalling in the doorway. Cancel the 
Just can't believe how quiet these lanes are today. We've barely seen any cars all day. They're just such great cycling roads. We're heading towards Sherbourne. I have no idea where we are though. I'm still lost, but just following the line on my map and uh, being surprised around every corner with a new site, exploring, ticking off more tiles. It's just such a great day. This weather as well is amazing. I think 21, 22 degrees, it's just perfect for cycling. Yeah. There you go, Alex. Eco gelato. How is it, Alex? Mm. <laughs> so good. Right, so we're in Sherbourne. We finished the ice cream. Really nice it was too. And we're now going to head all the way back to Glastonbury. I think we're going through Sanford Orcus, if I remember rightly. Right, so we're coming up to the 109 kilometer mark, which means we've not got long to go of the 127 kilometers. Weather is still glorious. We're all still ticking along in good spirits. And we haven't gone up any hills either, so it's been generally flat on the way back. Surprisingly so with how hilly it was going out, but you gotta love today. What a great day. How's the bike been? Lovely, so comfy. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's great. And I feel exactly the same. It's just so comfortable on these long rides. I'm back into Glassbury now, so... Del and Alex have departed their own ways, making their own way home. Ian's gonna come and grab another bottle from me because he's gonna have done nearly 200 kilometers by the end of today. So do give him some kudos. Massive effort from Ian. But thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we will see you very, very soon in the next video. You gotta cycle round in circles to get to 200. I do, yeah. I've, just, I've already <laughs> been thinking it. So it's 36, I've just done 100, that's 162. I'm too short, so I think. I'll just <laughs> do a few loops. I can't not do 200. <laughs> and I feel all right, so yeah. Let's get you some water.